Hi, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre, Dean of Culinary Education at Johnson Wales University, and this is one of my favorite fellows, Lauren Markle. Hi. So today we're going to be making a very, very typical Catalan dish called calzots with romesco sauce. Now, calzots are the first spring vegetables, spring onions to come out. So it's kind of a celebration of springtime. Uh, in Spain, you'll see them all over when they're coming, everybody eats them. And it's a very simple dish and it's something that maybe you can do indoors or when you're grilling. What we do is I'm gonna use a cast iron grill. I'm also going to start making the sauce while this is charring away. So what we're gonna be doing is called a romesco sauce. A romesco sauce is a, a red bell pepper sauce with either almonds or hazelnuts. V found tons of, in that part in the uh, in Spain, so whichever ones you like. I'm gonna use hazelnuts today. Uh, the thickener is gonna be some bread. We're also going to grill some tomatoes. I threw the garlic on there too. We're just getting some char marks on it. So. What you're looking to do is you're trying to get the first layers charred and get a heat, and then I'll show you what they do after. So do not worry, you cannot overcook this. We'll start with a lot of oil. Can you add some salt and pepper? Oh yeah, it's a lot of oil. You can use, so since it's Spain, I love to use sherry vinegar. I love that flavor, but you can use red wine vinegar. There we go, keep going. Okay, so go ahead, we'll add a little more olive oil. A little more salt and pepper. Remember, you always season as you go. If you add a little more, then you have to add a little more salt, a little more pepper. If the way you, you know, as long as you're seasoning as you go, by the time you're done, then it's got a nice balance of flavor. Go ahead, thank you. So like I said, it takes a little time, <clears throat> but then what happens after is, what they do is they bring them to your table, <clears throat> typically in a ceramic tile from the top of a roof, but you can use a long plate. And they wrap them, once they bring them off the grill, they wrap them in newspaper to keep the heat in. So again, remember, a, a, poor, a poor man's dish, but they wrap them in some type of newspaper and they let them steam. So I made these ahead of time. So you can see that they've been steaming, they're getting a, nice and soft right now. So what we do is they get, they usually get presented like this, actually on the plate <clears throat> and they're just ready to eat. And they start to peel away the char. And now what you have is a nice, soft green onion. It has nice char flavor. It peels right out. And what you do is, so follow me. Yeah, I've never done this before. So we, they dip it in the sauce and then, like I said, they usually have bibs because this gets pretty crazy. They'll either feed each other or feed themselves. I'm going to feed myself. Feed myself That's well. right. Fair enough. And then they just tip back. And they eat the onion. That's good. And that's really good. So it's really soft, nice. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre at Johnson Wales University. You can find this and all recipes on our website. Let's dig in.